So let's look at a half house next. No half house. Hello, people. So this is the first house that we were looking at. It looks like this one is $470,000. What do you think, Erica? Um, I don't like it. First of all, $470,000, you got two bedrooms and four bathrooms. You heard that right. There's four bathrooms for two bedrooms here. And I can't understand why a place needs two times more bathrooms than it needs bedrooms. I have to pee a lot. Yeah, but you got, you, there's only two people living there. Where did you see it says how that many bath? Look, right here, two bedrooms, two, ba four, two bedrooms, four bathroom. Two bedroom, four bathroom, that's kind of. That's backwards. Cool. The other thing that I'm not feeling is if you look at the tree, it looks like it's half dead. And I don't like the aura. The left tree or the right tree? The right tree is half dead. The le further away? The left tree or the right tree? It's the right tree. See, that's your tree, but the left tree is your neighbor, so you can't Wait, do so anything about it. The right tree, the red one is the one you think is dead? No, no. You see that green one? The one in the middle? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that one looks like it's dying. Look at the top. That that's looks a very terrible. sad looking tree. Yeah, it is. And then look at the one on the left, the pine, the Christmas tree looking one. Like, what happened to that tree? You could always it get looks a different weird. Tree. Yeah, but I can't do anything about the tree on the left. The pine tree on the left that looks like something it's a terrible. It's haunted on the left side. Yeah, I know. I think it's, it's quite a, haunted on it, the left it's side. It's a tree. It's everything to do with that that scary looking tree. I've never seen a Christmas tree that looks like that in my life. So no, no. I want to cross the street to get a better view of it with cars everywhere. Cars everywhere. Cars everywhere. Yeah. So it is, you know. It is what it is, but I'd say Isn't no, based here, on those so you're trees. At the mercy of waiting for people to stop. Yeah. Which is never going to happen because we're too close in proximity to New York. Look. See, there's no light. Yeah, I know. So if I want to cross, it has to be an asshole like this. And I am over here behind him. I have to cross too. Thank you. A woman took pity on me. I'm so grateful. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, turn turn to the tree on the left. That haunted looking tree. You know, I believe fully in tree maintenance. I don't know what happened. And that's not, that's a neighbor's tree. So you can't do anything about it. It looks like a Christmas tree gone wrong. If you offered to make somebody's tree look a little nicer, would they be happy and appreciate it? Uh, I think the only way, I, what I can do is probably chop that tree down or chop it halfway, make it into a bush. But I don't want to deal with a neighbor's tree next so let's look at a half house next no half house so this house here is almost eight hundred thousand dollars and i'm really at a loss as to what it is that makes this eight hundred thousand dollars what do you think erica um you got a big wide driveway you got two entrances it's not a half house and because it's a full house it's double the price i think it's a half house but you're just getting both halves okay you have the tiny left one and the big right one. Oh, okay okay the thing that Erica brought up is that when you look on the other side, you immediately get house envy because this house looks 20 times better and it's right across the street. It looks, it, here. Erica, come close. It looks like the kind of house where you walk open and you pick up the, you pick up the newspaper and you're like, gosh, I wish I lived in that house. Yeah, like, look, like, look, at, look at that. Like, oh, there's your... Yes. This is, this is total house envy. So you could spend $800,000. Also, I don't know what this neighborhood has against Tom. So what, what, this address is 300 Tom Hunter Road. Like, why am I hunting Tom? Where do you live? Tom Hunter Road. <laughs> Isn't Tom a cat? Tom cat? Yeah, but imagine I actually hire someone named Tom and he lives in Jersey mm -hmm. and he needs to pick something up for me or something. And I say, where do you, you know, where do you pick it up? From Tom Hunter Road. Yeah. It's just kind of. Yeah, this house in, uh, across the street is too nice. If it really is. If you get this house, you're going to be wishing you lived in this house. Yeah, because every single time you walk outside, there's a reminder that something way sexier is right out yeah, there. Yeah, see, like, I, see, I like the driveway. See how it has that nice cobbled driveway? Look at that cobbled driveway. It's like marrying the ugly sister when the hot sister lives next door. It's just got, like, black pavement. That's it. No, no special no, details? No, it's, it's shingle. It's not brick. You have brick right across the street, and this is all shingly okay, look shit. At, look at his entranceway. Look how he goes to his front door. See how nice and... Yeah, look at that. It's a colorful trees and everything. And you here. got a big crack here. You got to watch out. You might trip on this crack. See the crack? I'm not feeling the whole $800,000 for this. Yeah, me Jer too. Jersey appears to be trying to get you as badly as New York. How much does this house cost? House Envy House. Let's look that up. Yeah, three. Yeah. It's a 301 Tom Hunter Road. Yeah, I don't know. This, this does not, this looks not so great. 
and I don't like the feeling of looking at this. See that big crack here? You would think they would at least repair this. Look at this stuff. This is at least one inches. See that big crack over there? Big crack. Look at that beautiful staining in the front. I see ants too. I see a lot of ants. And then there's your beautiful neighbors. Oh, I'm so envious. I'm so envious. So, so that house across the street is sold for a million dollars. Million dollars? Oh, really? Last That's year. 200,000 more than this. Man, that was worth it. Look at this. This is what you get for 200,000 less. This big crack. See that? It's, uh, let me just show you how big this crack is. See, see how wide and tall that crack is? See that? Oh, yeah. They couldn't even, they couldn't even fix that. Two big cracks over here. Two tripping liabilities. Tripping liability over here. And they got some staining in the front. I don't know why they couldn't repaint it. Paint is cheap. In the black driveway over here. And then look at the neighbors. Oh, that cobbled, that cobbled nice driveway in the beautiful $1 front steps. Dollars. Keep cycling, oh. woman. Keep cycling. Oh. Show them what we did to get increased range this time. Okay. It's a contraption. Yeah. It's beautiful. Bungee cords and some bubble wrap. Many bungee cords. And look, I retaped my battery up after I balanced it. Yeah. Okay, Erica, what do you think of this one? No. Why not? It reminds me too similar to half a house. Come it's close. Half a color. Half a color? Half a color. Okay, explain this. Okay. It's look, look you, you have a full house. There's a door right there. There's one door and that door is yours. Yeah, but how come only half of it was brick? How come they didn't finish it all the way? But the top may be brick, they just painted over it or something. No, that's not brick. What like, is it? Shingle? Maybe they put stucco or something on it. That let's looks take... like the stuff I see on the ceilings. Huh. Let's see. How much is this one actually? 23 Plateau Avenue, New Jersey, Zillow. $719,000. Okay, see, at the very least, that other house where they wanted 799000 it was way smaller than this. At least this, it looks like a much larger house. Okay, I, I don't like that we got all these different textures going on. Hold up, stop here. Stop here. Look at the top. So you got this, like, sp uh, ceiling splatter kind of material on there, right? And then you followed by brick. And then you got these weird kitchen squares. What kitchen squares? You know, for the, the steps. Show me the kitchen squares. These things. Oh, you mean this, all this broken shit over yeah. here? Okay, it, the it, broken shit, I'm not feeling that for $800,000. Yeah, and look, they just left it there. 719. Yeah, if you want more than half a million dollars for your house, okay. come on. Yeah, I take, I take off 100000 for that right there. Okay, another 100000 for that by the door, actually. So we got... <laughs> it's falling apart. So now we're down to 519000 you want to go closer? Yeah, you got it. And also, I have to see if I still have video of this from the other night, but there was a dog, and the dog was making Erica very, very angry. So the last time we came out here, we got out here too late, and it was all dark, so you couldn't really see stuff too well. But although you couldn't see anything, you could most certainly hear the dog. Were you able to hear the dog, Erica? Yes, I could. Okay, it's getting late, so you can't really see it that well. It looks like a haunted house with this angle. No, so here we go. So, check it out. That, by the way, this Cree LED that I use, I gotta link this in the description. This thing's awesome. Okay. You can really see the entire house just from that LED. Like, look what happens when I turn the bike light off. No house. Okay. No house. Okay. So, this is not half a house. That is one door. But I got, like, this thing looks kind of haunted. It you can't really haunted. see the effect in, in this video very well, but this actually, yeah, this looks really haunted. I'm actually, I actually kind of want to ride away now. So, this is, this is what he was telling me. He said, uh... He said, well, Erica, you know, it's so big. Here, move the camera up. He said, yeah, make sure the top of the roof is up on the shot. He said, Erica, you know, look how big it is. It's so nice and, you know, it's so much space. And while he's saying this, I hear a dog barking in the background. There it is. You can hear it. Um, going at it with the bird across the street. And how much is this? How much is this? I think 749000 Okay, I'll pay 749000 just to have that dog go <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll we'll stick Mr. Clinton on him. He'll huh? be he'll be gone. Mr. Oh. Clinton will get, will get the work done. So what are we? What? Yeah, that dog is actually kind of annoying. We've only been standing here for two minutes. Look, it's going horse. No, oh, look, there's a garage. Yeah. The place is look. This place is gigantic. This is a this this is this could be remade into a mansion. The it problem could. is that it's seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. You know the problem is there's a dog right there, and, and there's probably barking. That's why the previous owners wanted out. Should I tell them like I'll give you seven fifty if you get rid of the dog, four fifty with the dog? 
I'll make an offer of 400,000. You think they'll take it? No. All right, next. And the other thing too is that, you know, Blackberry has these weird meows. What? It was like, meow, meow, meow. And I, I could just see a terrible uh, symphony of dogs and cats. And that would drive me up the wall. Clint, we would let Clinton out into the yard. He would take care of the dog. There'd be no more bully dog. Oh. I'm really loving this new this setup. Look at that. Hey, look at that. Look, 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 at, look at the um, decoration in the front garage. Look at that. What decoration? You see? They, they tried to make it upwards, but then it got kicked down or something. See that? I mean, it's a house that's, that's abandoned right now. You know, you can't expect the most oh, yeah, of it. Yeah, look. look the, to the toilet paper. The, the, that's um, not toilet paper. That's the just the really old newspaper. newspaper. The newspaper's over there. That newspaper is all brown and dirty. Okay, so what do you? So they want seven hundred nineteen thousand. I am willing to give you two fifty k. Yeah. What do you you're, say? You're being too cheap here. You're okay, so what do you here. think this is reasonably worth, Erica? Huh? What do you say this is worth? It's it's a, like Fort Lee area, right off the George Washington Bridge, so I can ride the bike over. I'm not a realtor, but if I had to come up with a fair market price, in my opinion, for this stuff, I give it a solid two fifty k. No, I'd give it like five hundred at what? least, five fifty, six hundred. Oh, okay. you're being too generous. Okay. No, I'm not being generous. Coronavirus, incoming depression. So what? You're saying that you should knock it down sixty six percent because of coronavirus? I'm just saying. No, no, no. You're you're not a, the best negotiator, Erica. Well, at least they would hear my negotiations out versus you. I give yeah, you one dollar. <laughs> they tell me to go fuck myself. <laughs> but it's, it's large. It's very large. You, you got to give it that. And it has a garage so I could work on the buffet. That would be awesome. And you know what the great thing is? If you look at your neighbors, you won't have house envy looking at your neighbors, really. Yeah, Not like the other place. Yeah, the other place I would have a lot, incredible house envy. Honestly, here's the thing. If you make the facade of this look nice again, you restore it a little bit, you could make this the best looking house here. Uh, I, Which is in the budget if you buy it for 200k. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stop. it's not gonna happen. Oh, stop taking away my dream. Also, look at this hill. Look at this. So when what? you go out, look at this. I would get to ride down this on the way to work every single day. Can you imagine that? Okay, hold Starting up. every day on this roller coaster. Here. What did you say? This pothole. This pothole is huge. This is a huge pothole. Yo, New Jersey with 2.2% property tax. Um, for what? New, did you notice that New Jersey property tax is 2.2%? Huh? Did you notice that New Jersey property tax is 2.2% in many areas? I don't know where this is, the money's going to because this pothole took a while to form. Yeah, someone in my last comment said, like, don't you talk like that. Look at what your property tax is going to here versus elsewhere. It's like, yeah, about that. This One, kind of... Se two, se three. Uh, seems like Jersey is spending the tax dollars the same way that the Blasio does. No, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Another one. The death maker. What, this is it? me flipping over my bike right here. What's the street name on this thing? Plateau Avenue. Plateau? Oh, yeah, Plateau. It makes sense. Yeah, Plateau. Yeah, it's, plateau. A bunch of <laughs> it's it's properly named. It's properly named. No, but I like this house. This is on the maybe list. This you is like on the maybe house. maybe if they if they take like four hundred thousand off. So if the price is in your in what you deem to be fair in your What opinion. I deem to be fair in my in my ob objective always correct pricing. Of real estate. No realtor is ever going to want to work with you. I would like to have a house for 250k and many rooms. I don't want to work with realtors. Uh, anyway. All right, so on to the next one. Yeah, I'll just get one last, so you could all see. Again, they're not willing to work with me now. Give it three, six, nine months. Okay, so over here, this is 1099 Abbott Boulevard. Uh, this is going for how much was it, Erica? Six forty-nine, I believe. Yeah, six hundred forty-nine thousand dollars. But this kind of looks like a dump. Erica thought it looked nice, but I don't know what the hell happened to your. Huh? Okay. So why do you why do you think this looks nice? Here, turn, turn. Let's go around. What about this is nice? Well, I was looking at it from the side view, and I thought it looked absolutely massive compared to your half a brick house that you like for two fifty. Well, you want to offer them two fifty. But like, look, it looks kind of nice. Like, look how massive this thing looks. See, it just goes on and on and on and on. Okay, I'll give it that. It has a lot of space. There's a lot of real estate here. But this is a this is a shingle shack. Shingle shack. Shingle shack. The only thing I don't like is that there's so many squares that it, it kind of is an eyesore because there's too the, many squares. Look at how old this shit looks. Huh? It's falling apart. It's not falling apart. Okay, come to the front. I'll show you. All right, 
Look, look, come up here. This screams this has been here since 1910 and never been touched. You could just paint over it. But I, I don't think this is a good house. Look at I, the door frame, Erica. Look at the door frame. This what? thing is... At least it's straight. Eugene, Eugene made it, didn't make it like hey. this nice. What? No, but seriously, like, this is... this is. Okay, you're right. It, it's seen worse times, but there was craftsmanships when they made this door frame. I give you 150000 Huh? 150000 Oh, man. I don't know where you're coming in with those prices. I'm just going to wait for you to offer a... a a realtor, ten dollars at this point. It's old. It's old. It's old. No, seriously, you want to talk about house envy? You talk about house envy? Okay, yeah. look next door. I don't like it. It's too bricky. No, but that, that brick is good. Too brick, much brick. Brick good. Shingle bad. I'm not a big fan of this one. Look at the doors. It's too red and white. I'm seeing a a, a trend in what you okay, like. Look at the door white. frame there, and look at the door frame there. Yeah, but how much is this house? Over a million. Up, it'll make me sad. Exactly. I give you. A, I tell you this. It's over. It's over two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Three fifty for that. Oh goodness! You're such a cheapskate. I am a cheapskate. And that's why you don't have any house. <laughs> Nobody wants to accept your prices. Somebody accepted my price for a store after three months. Huh? All right. Next. I love this battery, Erica. You like this battery? It's beautiful. This is a lot of hill. Okay, may go left. Okay, I'm gonna stay in a low gear this time. I'm not gonna get owned like last time. We're gonna stay in the lowest gear. Because the hills in this area are crazy. Yes. Keep my lights and my blinker on here. Okay, look at Elm Avenue, Erica. Look at look at Elm. Are you ready for this ridiculous shit? Yeah, bike is not. Yeah, you, your bike is not gonna do this with like, Erica. All right, I gotta go up myself, and then Erica is gonna have to. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, this is not a hill, man. For especially since I'm carrying this extra battery, that's that's the problem. I think I could go up. I want to see if it's possible. Let's see if this is possible. Whoa. Holy shit. I'm, I'm pushing down with all my force in the handlebar so I don't flip. This is crazy. Whoa. I think I just used up half my battery. You use up half of the battery here just to get up the hill. Yeah, just to give you an idea of what I just tried to climb with there. Yeah, this hill is ridiculous. I can't get my feet to touch the ground without losing balance of the whole bike. <laughs> That's why people have cars and trucks. Holy crap. No, this hill is insane. It's not insane so for a truck or a car. Yes, yeah, so I, I definitely would not be able to have a guest on the bike. There's no room for a guest here. So, where is this house? Seven All right, so this is 769 Oakwood Lane. This is at the top of the hill. Let's just see what they want for this crazy, this house. So the commute to get to this one is, yeah, it's an adventure. I got to say, I would definitely, definitely look into a different type of bike. But the cool thing here is that this one is only 429000 Erica, this is only 429000 You know why? Why? A bunch of people died trying to get up that hill. No, they all have cars, like you said. 
Yeah, but you have no one to you, you have no desire to get a car. It just means I need to get a different bicycle. No, you don't need to get a different bicycle. Just get a uh uh house that I need that LS218. No, the LS218. No. The motorcycle that goes 218 miles an hour electric? No. I don't like this house. It looks depressing. Maybe It does look depressing, but it's 400 something thousand dollars, so it's actually affordable. What the well, this is more expensive than the other houses you're only going to offer 200,000 for. No, I'm going to offer like 50,000 for this one. What? No. Maybe 65. Why don't you just offer them five dollars then, if you're going to be like that? That's just being unreasonable. No, you're already unreasonable. So tell me what you don't like about it. Let's walk around the side. Besides the weeds, because the weeds is really what does a lot of the... It just looks like, it just looks boring. The windows do look a bit depressing. It looks like bars in the windows, even though like there's no bars. Like, what, what, what is this? This looks like my ex's mom did the cement here. <laughs> it looks like cat puke. This I, looks... Eugene could do better cement than you this. Know what? Okay, my ex's mom. I'll show you a story, okay? So she wanted to do patchwork um, cement work, and you're supposed to use like certain ratios. She just she just eyeballed it, and she ended up with what looks to be like cat puke. And I always thought it looked like puke. It looks like my ex's mom was right here. Terrible, terrible work. Yo, this driveway is actually as bad as that hill out there. Terrible. So yeah, I don't like it. If I feel like all the rainwater would also, when it rains, it would all go down to the driveway because you see the slope, yeah, slopes downwards. Or it would just stagnate water over there. So that, I think that's really bad. And look what they did at the bottom of the driveway. What? No, look where, where the garage door oh, goes down. Oh, that's like down. a drain? Is that a drain that Not I that. see? Look at the cement that's all over Yeah, the that's what I'm saying. Because the water, the water was going into it. That's why they probably did that. Yes, yeah, so that's why probably why this is 429. Yeah. All right. You know, I take back my 65,000 and I... Need, it probably needs a sump pump. Too. I, I retain the offer of 50,000. What do you say? 50,000 too much. 50, so you think it's worth zero? I wouldn't. I wouldn't even bother. You wouldn't even give five dollars, huh? Not even five dollars. That's sh that's just being unrealistic here. Whoa! Check out this hill. This is crazy. I want whatever house is at the end of this hill. Holy! Wee! Erica, you want this? Oh, this is crazy. This is the house with the hill, remember? I want this house. Oh shit. My brakes don't do anything. That was fun. Erica, this one looks like it goes for $675,000. Mm -hmm. For 1,500 square foot. You get two garages, which is pretty cool, because I could have a buffet workshop, and then I could have another buffet workshop. Okay. So I'd have two buffet workshops. Okay. But the house is really tiny, and they want 600 something, 675,000. So the, the upside is that you have this tremendous hill to come down here, which was really, really fun. I thought almost flipping my bike over into that person's lawn was incredible. The downside is it's $675,000 for a really tiny house. Also. House Envy is coming up again. See, that house looks better. That house definitely looks better. What makes them look better? This one looks better. This one looks better. And that one looks more friendlier too. Huh? This what makes just, them all look this better? This is just orange. I mean, this is just like a tan shack. That's it. It looks nice. I don't like how it's just squares and squares and squares. I don't like it. You don't like the squares? Yeah, like that looks way more friendlier, like next door. You don't want to have... Oh, yeah. You don't want to have House Envy. House Envy? House Envy, yes. You don't want to have House Envy. That house is much bigger. Yeah, exactly. Like, that house is so big that the you don't even notice it as a garage. All right, so this one, lo it looks like they want 649,000, am I right? Yeah, so 699,000. Uh -huh. This looks haunted. This kind of looks like where Bowser holds the princess or something. <laughs> Look at that red door. You know, that's a boss door, right? Yeah. No, but look at the see you see how there's paint around those window panes inside of the, the left window? Yeah. Get a little closer so we can get that. Look how beautiful this is. It has a secured by ADT sign, which is how you know that there's nobody here. Look at that. 
I don't know if you can see the workmanship of the paint, but that that one over there looks was obviously a replacement. You see how that one's so much thicker? Yeah. And it's so shoddily done too. But that, it, it looks yeah, that, that's, that's kind of scary. Look at that red number one zero zero three. Like, can you make that purple or something so it looks less scary? Pink. Pink. It still looks scary. And then look at this. There's not a lot of windows in this we house either. Redo this either. See that? Broken. Six hundred ninety-nine thousand for this. And this is not cobble driveway, not like that that house envy place. You know, you still got your house envy. Look across the street. Look at how not haunted that looks. Oh yeah, that one. That's a light. See, light. Dark. Also, look look at the haunted tree. I know. It kind of looks like a squiggly monster. Yeah, to me it looks like some kind of like tarantula coming towards you. I don't know if that's your property, if that's your neighbor's property, but it really does look like a spider. Um, reaching towards you with all its limbs. Again. I'll offer 200k. What do you say? No, no one's gonna accept. 200k. Okay, let's no try. Let's check out across the street. Look, look at the house envy you have. Look, look at how nice that looks. I don't versus like that. I don't like the red brick one. The red brick one looks like Hansel and Gretel are about to get eaten in there, but it has that wholesome look to it. Actually, look, that one over there reminds me of Neapolitan ice cream. Yeah, let's and cross the street. And that one over there looks really nice. Actually, that's not because it's red light. Yeah. We'll just end the thing here. And look, they got two lions over there. That's completely Team that's Lannister. A, that's to scare all the, the ghosts back to this ah. one. <laughs> they want six ninety nine for this. Yeah, they do. I feel like there might be like a vampire up in the middle window. Do you see that? Do you sense that? I think two hundred K is fair. What do you all 200K? think? Two hundred K? No, no. I don't want to. Two fifty if you remove the ghost. It's like some kind of horror movie. <laughs> All right, next. Okay. I'm going to conquer this hill if it kills me. Erica is on the back of the bike. Okay, let's make some bets. Do I make it or do I blow a motor? Holy shit, this is scary. For fun. Oh, awesome! We made it. That's on gear one, so I have. Uh, I think it's a. 36 tooth rear cog and 28 tooth front cog. I don't have the large cogs in the back, but I'm actually going to change to get one. Yeah, because I had the cog that was more meant for a city biking, so my largest gear was 36 tooth. But for this, I think I'm going to get one that's 42 or 48. So this one over here, it looks like is $550,000. I'm, I'm missing it. It's boring. It's boring, it's kind of drag, it has a really old looking front door. I don't care about the front door, it just, there's nothing about it that makes, that looks special to me. And then you also have like an open driveway over there, so I guess nobody has a garage, you kind of park your cars in the back. And the big... The inside area looks nice, like if you see it, put the GoPro to the phone. This is so ghetto, but... That, I like this. Okay, you can, you can get uh, wood floors or laminate wood floors, you can just install it yourself. I never... Eugene can install it for me. No, have Sunny do it. Yeah, no. Yeah, let's see what the side looks like. No, I don't want to offer. Someone lives there. Someone lives there. So what would you offer? Uh, I don't know what I would offer. I wouldn't even offer anything. But again, this is... 25K. Another, no. Again, this is another case of house envy over here. See? House envy. All the other houses look really pretty. Not really. That one just has more sunlight than this one, but it's... No, but look, look at like the, the windows, same. right? Look at that house versus this thing. Like, this just looks, you don't have as much windows, it doesn't look as grand. Remember, this one versus that one. That one looks beautiful. This one, yeah, House Envy, I don't like it. Yeah, it's a freaking, it's a dump. Five, well, all right, so let's see. Erica had one in mind that she wanted to show me that was in somewhere between Queens and Long Island. I wonder if I have enough battery to get there. I think we do. This battery is almost out, but I have the second one. So I'm going to try it. Let's try to make a straight trip there. Okay. Let's see what happens. So let's look at a half house next. No half house. He said, uh, he said, well, Erica, you know, it's so big here. He said, Erica, you know, look how big it is.